Hello, doers. My name is Jose Ignacio. Welcome back to the final boss of the costing series. The first in, first out costing method, aka FIFO. Today, we'll be jumping between a wombo combo of apps, so get ready to continue growing your knowledge. FIFO manufacturing is like waiting in line. In a workshop, products are manufactured and stored in a specific order. The stuff that gets made first are sent out for sale first, and then the next items in line are basically delivered next. Now, here's the interesting part. So the FIFO costing method pools the cost of the oldest manufactured item in stock and uses it to determine the product cost. So right now, the cost to make a table is $110. But once that product is removed from the stock, the next oldest manufactured product determines the cost. Now, FIFO is straightforward to use and has been useful to update fluctuating product costs. In this video, you'll see how FIFO works when we produce two tables constructed with the same components, but bought at different prices. So enough chit chat. Let's get started right now. First, to check the value and the quantity of the components I have in stock, let's go to the inventory valuation report. Now, firstly, you're going to want to have developer mode on. Otherwise, you won't see it. I'm going to quickly show you where you would find that. We're going to go into settings down at the bottom under developer tools. If you don't see this, it might be related to access rights. For more information on that, please check out the documentation. Otherwise, let's make our way over to inventory, reporting, valuation, and there we have it. All right, let me show you basically a couple tips. Now, first, we want to group this by the product, and that'll make it a whole lot nicer and easier to see. And then another thing that I could show you is a quick tip while we're here. If you click this favorites filter right there, Save the current search. You could change the name if you'd like. We're going to use that by default and hit save. Perfect. Now, whenever we open this up, it'll default us to the nicer view right there, which makes it a lot easier. Now, we're going to look for the FIFO components. We have our table, which currently doesn't have a value or anything moved. Our table legs and our tabletop. You see the nested table legs and tabletops were the, with their actual respective values over here. Now, right now, the components we have in stock are four table legs for a total of $20 and one tabletop for $10. These are to manufacture my first table, which we'll do now. Now, before I go, remember those two values, $20, four legs, $10, one tabletop. As we go through the flow, Oda will update my components prices over here in the terms of the valuation as I process manufacturing orders, which we will come back to later at some point. So remember that. All right. I'll begin making my first table. So we're going to go into the manufacturing app, operations and manufacturing orders. And now to prepare to build one, we can select new up here. And what product did we want? We want that FIFO table. All right. Everything here initially looks pretty good and the table is already added. So we can now click confirm. Beautiful. We can see that this manufacturing order will use four table legs and one tabletop eventually in the to consume field over here. Now we'll click on the work orders tab and we're going to type in right now that I spent 60 minutes working on this very hard worker. We're going to log that time and we can easily adjust the time spent on a manufacturing order right here. All right. Now that we're done with everything, we're going to hit mark as done and we're going to apply this. And we're going to finish everything manufacturing. Now, if you want to review the cost analysis of the ammo, all you have to do is click that smart button I've been showing you. Give that a second to load and it'll tell us everything. So right now, we can see that the table costs $80 total to make. Because it used $30 under the cost of components, plus $50 of operational costs for the assembly line that we have right here. And we'll show you what that means now. All right, for the next table, I'll use more expensive components. So here's a Jose Ignacio quick tip to help save time. We're going to go back to the MO using the breadcrumbs, which today is Wonder Bread because all of you are wonderful. We're going to hit duplicate. Boom, we've got our draft set up and we're going to make the same table. And now we're going to finally confirm it. With the new MO confirmed, we see that we need to order more components. Oh no, it's red and not available. Well, let's pause this. Go out of here and we need to restock. So in our case, we're going to go into inventory. And what do we need to do, oh doers? We need to replenish. We're going to go into replenishment. We can see that our components appear in the replenishment report and it's that convenient, oh doers. Let's select the boxes next to the stuff that we need. And then what do we do? Well, we just got to hit oh doers. Or doers. 
That's a terrible joke. With the PO created, let's finish ordering components inside of the purchase app. So we're going to go back over here into purchase. We're going to find the one that we need for today, which happens to be right there. There's our replenishment report. Now, let's say that due to a shortage of lumber, we had to buy from the greedy giant and he doubled the price of our components. So we're going to change the unit price of each of these. These are now $10. These are $20. Oh no, that is very sad and now I want to cry. Nothing we can do about that. So we'll go ahead and confirm the order. Receive our products. And now we're finally done with all our parts over here. And also we got to validate this before I forget our doers and apply. With all our parts, let's get back to our manufacturing. So let's go back to our table. So we're going to go inside of the manufacturing app. Operations, manufacturing orders, the most recent one. All right, there we are. Now you'll see that the component status field has been updated and everything is there. So let's go back over here and lie about working a full hour right now. And we're basically done. We're going to mark as done and again hit apply. All right, we're almost done. I promise you. Let's check the cost analysis report again now this time. And you'll see that. It's a more expensive table. Now it's $110 due to the more expensive components that we use nearly doubling. Ah, can't do anything about it. All right, now we'll see though, however, if we go back over here and we check all of this, what ended up happening though? Well, we can see that the cost, if we click on the actual table itself, is still $80 per unit. Now, why is this? Well, when we check our overview report for the table, which you can do using the Bill of Material smart button up here and checking it inside of here. And now finally, I almost forget. We actually want to see this overview report right there. We can actually see that even though the bomb cost has been updated to $110, the actual product cost follows the cost of the earliest manufactured product that we have in stock, which is that first table at $80. And isn't that interesting? But let's see what happens when we sell off the first product we manufacture, the $80 table. Our customer, Mark, is super excited to get one of our awesome tables because they're awesome. So we'll just navigate over to the sales app because we'd like to sell something. And we're going to make a new quotation. And who did I just say is buying this? Well, I said Mark is buying it. So there's Mark. All right, we're going to sell him one of our FIFO tables. So we'll find that out. All right, everything looks good here. So once that we're done, we're going to confirm this. And finally, when the delivery order is processed, which in our case, we click on the delivery, validate, immediate transfer and apply. I want to show you something. The $80 table will be removed from stock, which we can see in the inventory valuation report, which if we go out of here and go back into inventory, reporting, valuation, and finally, here we go to our FIFO section. You'll notice immediately. Remember the valuations for the table legs and the table top from before? Since we sold off the last table to Mark and purchased the more expensive components, those values have actually changed accordingly. Notice, instead of what we had before, now we actually have it set to $40 because of the changes for the table legs. And finally, $20 for the actual top now. And when we click on the actual FIFO table drop down, you noticed immediately the first table was taken out at the $80 and the 110 one is right below it as well. The table delivered to Mark is the first $80 one. We're actually going to click on that row just so that I could take you over here to the order and so that I could show you something immediately. And basically, if we click on that little product form over here, what does that cost say now, o doers? And here we arrive on the table's product form, which tells us the product cost is automatically updated to the cost of the next earliest manufactured product that we have on hand, which happens to be $110 now instead of the $80. How cool. All right. So that's how FIFO works, so doers. Thanks for sticking through to the end of this costing series. Hopefully you found a costing method that works for you. And if you have any questions, be sure to drop them in the comments. Send me an email. Smash that like. I don't know everything. For more manufacturing videos and everything else Odoo, be sure to check out the description below. And as always, remember, I'll see you next time.